that's um, important to get them on our side. Um, unfortunately, we could not get, we got confirmation only from one management and the other's uh, indication was that efforts would have been made to try and get the other managements to come. They did not. So yes, we have written requesting another meeting, but up to now we have not gotten any uh, positive response, if you will. But we will definitely continue to follow that up. Sir, have there been any, at least in the informal ways, uh, any commitments made from any of those manager, managing authorities that they would be prepared to pay the teachers who were on strike, even if the government withholds the, the grants for, this, for that month? You, the thing is this, managements know their role. Managements are aware of what, of the importance of the teachers to them. They were prepared to work with the teachers. They did not say specifically we will not deduct, but they would have been prepared to mitigate, to ease the burden that these teachers would face as a result of this deduction. But if you read the memo that Dr. Bob sent out, she is saying to the management, even monies that we should have been transferring to you, we won't unless you do X, Y, Z. This arrangement, the church, uh, the church-state partnership, the grant aid arrangement, these managements won't have that type of, type of money. That is not their primary activity. They are providing a, an essential social service to this country. They are assisting the government, in fact, in ensuring that our children get education. And so when the government, through the Ministry of Education, makes those type of statements and demands to those managements, that unless you do X, Y, Z, we are not going to give you the salaries that uh, you should be getting, and any other monies that we would have been transferring to you, then it is time for people to start to wonder what it is. And the question, therefore, if the teachers are prepared to make up the time, every time the government officials and the minister made this statement several times yesterday, it is for the children. If it is for the children and the teachers are prepared to make up the time, then we ask the question, who is now punishing the children? Because if you don't pay the teachers their salaries, they won't make up the time. We are prepared to do so and we insist on the government. Rethink your position and pay the teachers we are prepared to make up the time.